everybody, Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video. Today we're going to be working on this satellite dish. It got knocked out of alignment and we're going to show you how to fix that coming up right now. All right guys, welcome back. As you can see, I done knocked my dish out of alignment with the lawnmower. I'm sure this might have happened to you. That's why you're watching this video. If you've only just knocked it this way, that's a pretty easy fix. Um, I'll get a close up on this here in a minute. If you hit the pole and the pole is still level, you got to check it with a level, make sure it's plumb, then you're in good shape. But if you have knocked it where it's bent or if it's wobbling around, in the dirt, the only way you're going to be able to fix it is to cut it off with a, hack, uh, with a hacksaw or something and, and replant another pole because that pole has to be plumb or the dish is not going to work right. All right. All right. Now, this set of bolts here is your elevation. This one shouldn't have been affected at all uh, from we hitting the dish, and, and these two here are your, uh, can, you know, they tighten it up on the pole. This one is how the dish is turned this way, okay? There's all these numbers are in your um, satellite dish in the menu. If you put in your zip code, it'll tell you what all the azimuth and the, um, all the numbers are supposed to be. All right, um, the best, the easiest thing to do, now obviously, if you've bent the LNB, um, my advice is to try to bend it back and see if that works. It's got to be straight or it's not going to work. But if you've bent that arm that sticks out, that's the L and B, uh, you're kind of screwed unless you can straighten it really straight. Okay, but your best, uh, best bet is if you just knocked it out of alignment, I'm going to show you the menu in the uh, satellite dish and um, show you how to line it up. Sorry if this is going to get a little uh, shaky. I didn't bring a tripod in, inside. But you're probably looking at a screen something like this. Now, obviously, this happens to be a Dish Network uh, satellite, but uh, the DirecTV one should be pretty similar. So you're going to want to go into your menu. And look for uh, something like this. System Setup. Installation. Point Dish. This is the screen you want. All right. Now the easiest thing to do, other than taking your satellite box and a TV out in the yard and hooking it up out there, is to put it on this screen, turn the volume up, let me turn it down for a minute, and if, uh, if you have two phones or if you have a helper and a walk, uh, two sets of walkie-talkies, well one set of walkie-talkies, any way to hear this tone out in the yard is your best bet other than a fancy satellite uh, strength meter that the technicians use, which I assume most of you don't have that, so I'm working with stone knives and bearskins here to show you how to do it. So I'm going to call my phone. Okay guys, best bet on this, slowly turn the dish. I'm listening for a tone. You'll hear the tone come in. If you have a helper, that's even better because they can read the screen back to you. Slowly turn the dish and look for the signal. Turn it a little bit and wait. You probably can't hear that coming over the microphone, but I can hear it. I should be getting close right there. <laughs> 41. That's why. 44, 10, 45, 55, 53. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to lock it down. Okay. All right, guys. That's about it. I've got about a 50 signal. That's about all I had before. I've got some trees here in the way. 
Um, usually your signal is going to be between 70 and 90 if you have a clearing. Um, I've got trees in the way, so 50 is all I can get, and it, it works fine on 50. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. If it was, click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.